friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about this new quilted bag from Lululemon. Alright, so I've actually had this particular tote here now for a couple of weeks. I saw it randomly pop up on the Lululemon website. I'm always looking for new belt bags or sling bags or tote bags from them because I love the Lululemon brand. And I saw this one pop up and I grabbed it immediately because it is such a close lookalike to one of my all-time favorite totes and that is the MZ Wallace Metro tote. Um, I have it in the large size, the medium size, the small size. I've done a number of reviews on them and I absolutely love them. And this one here was just such a close look-alike that I had to grab it to compare it. When I first grabbed this tote, I thought it was gonna be very close to the medium Metro tote from MZ Wallace, but after packing it up and using it, I realized that it is massive. It is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is such a large tote. It's more of like a travel tote in my opinion. My kids um, just started back to school so I am in full on like mom taxi mode. I'm in my car for hours and hours and hours at a time. So I have this packed up with literally everything. Like anything that you can think of is inside here. I've been using it now for a couple days with them being back to school and it's working out really, really good. So the price point also on this one is a lot more, I would say affordable than the MZ Wallace Metro collection. So that's kind of something to consider as well, but it definitely has similar features, but there's a lot that's different between the two also. I also wanna mention really quickly before I get into this review that my friend Nicole, who is Hello Happy Mom, has this tote in the smaller version. It's super cute. It has more like a grab handle. You can kind of put it over the crook of your arm as opposed to this like massive tote. <laughs> so she's also gonna be reviewing hers. I will put the link to her review down in the description box if you're looking to kind of compare both of these. Since I have this tote already all packed up and it is massive and it is kind of heavy because of what I have packed in it, overall the tote is really, really light. It's, it's a quilted material, so it's basically weighs nothing, but because of everything I have packed inside of it, it's quite heavy. Um, and I thought I would show you what it looks like on the body and then we're gonna go ahead and put the camera down unpack it and then at the very very end i'll try to hold up the mz wallace tote and this lululemon tote for those of you that are interested in that comparison but it'll kind of be brief there um, at the end so let's go ahead and just get into the tote all right so for size reference i am five foot nothing i am very very short there is really only one way that you can carry this bag and that is by the tote straps there is not a messenger style strap or any way to connect a crossbody strap there's no hooks so really the way you're looking at it being carried here is the only way that you can carry it now as a reminder i have it packed to the max i have so much stuff inside of this bag so obviously if you didn't want to pack it quite as full as i have it it's going to look a lot less massive on the body <laughs> this is pretty much what it would look like if i was traveling with it or something like that, um, you of course would not have to pack this quite as full. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down so that we can take a look at all of the stuff I have packed inside. All right, so here we go. It is all packed up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the outside of the bag. On the front here, you don't have any pockets or anything like that. Down here at the very bottom, you do have a very faint Lululemon um, emblem if you will it's just kind of a logo but you don't have any other exterior pockets on the back here of the bag i will kind of turn it around so that you can see i don't have anything packed inside but you do have a pocket that is a functional pocket because the bottom here does zip fully but it also unzips if you want to use this here as a luggage sleeve so like i mentioned earlier about traveling with this one it would be absolutely perfect to travel with um, especially with that addition of um, that luggage sleeve there so besides that there are no um, exterior pockets or anything like that on this bag i did want to point out something about the tote straps now that i have it kind of focused on the bag there is a spot right here at the top that the tote straps lay completely flat and there's a small little leather kind of accent piece. I do find that because of this slight kind of addition, if you will, or 
um, alteration on the strap that it does not fall off my shoulder, which is huge. I can easily just kind of cross them on top of my shoulder and I find that they really don't slip off a bunch, especially when this bag is fully packed. So I do like that Lululemon kind of added that little detail in there. It just kind of makes it a little bit easier to carry. I will say that the fabric is a little bit on the thinner side. Um, it's not quite as substantial as some other quilted bags. I don't think it's cheap feeling by any means, but it's definitely on um, the thinner side of, for quilted bags. On the top here, looking down, you do have one small zipper right here, but it is only this wide, and you do not have one over here. Um, you cannot put that much in this pocket, to be completely honest. I think I have my, yes, my hand sanitizer is down in there. I also have a pen. Um, I had my phone in there earlier, a little sticky note. Um, what else is in there? Another pen. And that really, truly is it. It is more like a throw your keys in here, cell phone type pocket. It barely fits my hand. So my hand is in there, but it, it goes down to right here. So it's not very wide and not very deep. It's just like a grab and go type pocket right there. The main zipper closure here at the top does not go all the way to the sides of the bag. I know some people love that about totes and some people do not. So you can put things like maybe an umbrella or taller items um, and still have room to kind of stick them out of the top with this bag being so big. I'm not sure that there's really a need for that, but you do have that option. So it does not go all the way to the end on either side. And then you do have a little bit of like a zipper tail kind of over there on that one. But nice big kind of chunky smooth zippers. I really like that as far as the opening. And then this is what it looks like fully, fully packed up. <laughs> so right here on top, I actually have a small crossbody made by MZ Wallace. Um, and it is the Luna bag, I believe. Um, I have not shared this yet on my channel. I got it recently during their warehouse sale, kind of on a whim because I've never tried this style and it has become a fast favorite. I actually like it way more than I thought I was going to. I'll be sure to kind of share it in a later video, but this one um, does have like a chain accent strap and a crossbody strap, and I have just all of my small things. So if I'm popping into a store somewhere, if I'm running into school for something with the kids, I will not carry this big massive bag, <laughs> or at least it being so massive because I have so much packed inside of it. I'll just grab this in the top and then I'll be able to go. So quick peek inside here, like what I have um, as far as this, I'm not gonna pull everything out, but I basically have my Dagny Dover wallet in here. I also have an MZ Wallace um, key pouch that has like cards and things like that. I have gum, I have my lip gloss that I have been like big, big fan of lately. Um, some eye drops, medicine, hair tie, more gum, um, that kind of thing. So that's everything that I have inside this Luna. Like I said, it's just all of my um, things that I would need to like go inside somewhere. I like doing that a lot. I'll typically have a belt bag of some sort or a sling bag on top of big totes like that. So it just makes it so easy to not have to lug all of your things around if you're just popping in somewhere. Um, okay, let's start pulling stuff out. I will have everything that I can um, in today's video, like packed inside, linked in the description box or somewhere so that you can find links should you need anything. But this bag here does have a laptop sleeve all the way back here in the back. That is something that I've missed on other quilted bags. Um, it has a little kind of, or a rubber logo right here, like Lululemon logo. I will say the laptop sleeve is kind of big. I know that sounds weird, but I had to put my iPad inside this um, Metro pouch so that it would bulk up the pocket a little bit more. Let me see if I can explain what I mean. But inside here, I just have my iPad Pro um, and that is, that's all I have inside this pouch here. But I wanna take my iPad out so that I can show you, it's hard to tell because it's black, but what it looks like inside here. So if you have a 13 inch, I don't know if you'd be able to fit a 15 inch. Actually, I think you would. Yeah, you definitely would. You have a good another inch or so over here on the side. Um, but if you have like a smaller electronic in there, this like pouch <laughs> is so big that unless you have like tons of stuff packed in here, it's gonna fall and it's gonna be funky and you probably don't even wanna use the pocket, if that makes sense. So I had it inside that pouch. 
Inside this zipper pocket right out front, I have all of my charging cables. They all fit in there really easily. I have one for my phone, one for my iPad, I have my Apple Pencil, and then I have my iWalk um, portable charger down in there as well. So all the tech stuff fit very nicely inside this zipper pocket here. Now turning the bag around, I'm actually gonna show you what I have in these little um, mesh pockets before I pull everything out, because I think it might be easier. Um, on the opposite side of the bag, you do have two mesh pockets. In this one here, I just have my eyeglasses, and yes, I got another case for them. <laughs> this one is not very protective. It was a cheap one on Amazon, um, but I know they're there, so I'll be like careful with them. But I have my eyeglasses in there. I also have my Keep Going First Aid Kit. I always carry this whenever I can. It is the absolute best on the go first aid kit. Everything is so nicely kind of organized. I have band-aids, I have, I mean, literally everything is inside here. <laughs> I also have um, more band-aids back here and some stickers and I could go on and on. I should actually do a video and go into detail what's inside this. I pack it in a lot of my bags, but I have a discount code, I believe. I will put it with the links for everything down below if you wanna check it out. So that's what I have in there. Um, over in this pocket, I have the book that I'm reading, Meet Me at the Lake. I'm excited to get into that one. I have a random book for my son. And then I have my hand cream, still searching for a different one, but right now we're in that one. And a um, random pack of tissues. That's all that's in there. So. That's what I have down in these two, two mesh pockets. They're pretty big. And so as you can see, just by pulling out a couple of items, how much room is inside this bag um, when you don't have it fully packed. I have this accordion folder in here and I always do this during back to school time because it keeps everything that I need all in one spot. It makes it easy for me to carry it around should I need to. But it's basically, I don't wanna open it too much because I don't wanna show you anything that's inside of it. But um, I use a tab for each one of my kids and extracurricular things and I have forms that I need to sign or upcoming um, projects or something for my elementary school kid and stuff like that. It's just like an all-purpose little mini office that helps keep me organized um, when the kids are in school. In front of that I have a calendar. I won't call it a planner. <laughs> it's just a um, regular at a glance. Let me see if I can show you one that I don't have filled out. No. Um, it's just a regular calendar right there. So I've been using this to just kind of keep track of everything since my organizing comes mostly in this Erin Condren notebook and there isn't really a calendar in here. Um, I found that this combo right now is working well for me. So um, this is just a Erin Condren priority and notes notebook that has literally my entire life inside of it. Um, over here I have priority kind of boxes and then I have uh, just lined page over here. So that's what's inside this notebook here. And then I have, I believe, two more pouches or three more pouches. I have um, this little pouch here from Ken's Customs. This is another brand that I work with that I think I might have a discount code for. I can't uh, remember right now, but I will put it down below if I do. Um, but this one here holds a bunch of snacks. This is something that I was missing during car line um, during the week. So I made sure to add it here whenever I moved into this bag. Um, there is a bunch in here and I really like this size pouch for snacks and also tech gear. I wanna get another one for like tech or something, but I have a ton of crackers, granola bars. There's snacks in here that you can't even see um, down at the bottom. So it's just a really good small kind of compact pouch and you can see everything that's inside. The other pouch I have in here is another Ken's Customs pouch. This one happens to be my favorite one that I own from them, and that is this travel pouch. They have a ton of different colors, and you can obviously customize them however you want. Inside this travel one, I have just a bunch of activities for the kids. I just have like some markers. It's mainly for my youngest, um, but it's just like some silly putty and cards, um, notepads for him to draw. Um, games for us to play if we're going out to eat somewhere or something like that. It just really kind of is the same stuff that's in here all the time and I grab it when we travel and when we're in the car for a long time and all of that. So this is just great um, kind of for him to have and entertain himself uh, when we're in car line for a long time. 
All right, last but not least, inside this big tote is my Rothy's um, wristlet or Rothy's pouch. This here has all of my stuff in it. If I'm looking for something, it's likely inside this wristlet. I love this one, I've had it for a while. I believe they still have this print on the website, I'll have to check, but it's all of my like cosmetic stuff. My earbuds are in there. If I'm looking for any and everything, it's likely gonna be down in here. <laughs> More tissues, um, lip products, I have wipes for my eyeglasses. It's just kind of all of that little stuff. Hair ties for days. Um, I also have my Apple AirTag down in there, so that should my bag go missing, hopefully I can track it <laughs> quickly with that. Uh, that's something I've been doing since traveling this summer, and um, it's just kind of a little new little habit I have with my bags. But anyways, I have a hairbrush. You guys get the idea. It's like a big, huge cosmetic bag, and I really like this one. I like the material. I like the zipper. Um, it's nice inside big totes. All right, so that is everything I've packed inside. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the MZ Wallace Metro Tokes. I feel like it's very similar to this one and show you just some um, like side-by-side -side comparisons. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I thought that this Lululemon Quilted Tote was going to be um, very close comparison to the MZ Wallace Medium Metro Tote, but after getting it down and kind of comparing all of them, it is definitely closer to the large Metro Tote from MZ Wallace. Um, it is kind of like a cross between the medium and the large, but it, it leans closer to the large. The bottom footprint of the bag, like this base here, is almost identical to the size of this large one. I did not look dimension-wise. I didn't look online to see like what the actual dimensions was. I didn't measure it. That's just kind of from my eyeing it. <laughs> I'll kind of show you side by side, these two next to each other, and then um, kind of turned here so that you can see there is a lot of similarities between these two, but there are a couple of features that this large Metro Tote from MZ Wallace has that this Lululemon quilted bag doesn't. Um, this one is just a little bit, has a little bit more to offer, I think, than this quilted bag. This one is very basic, it's kind of plain, and I think that was, I like the int intention of it, Lululemon bags, are a lot different than MZ Wallace bags. And again, they're not exact comparisons, but it's just kind of a similar style that um, I enjoy. So I thought I would compare it <laughs> for you guys. because I know a lot of you do have this Metro bag. Um, the Metro bag from MZ Wallace comes with a crossbody strap also. And like I said earlier, this one doesn't have that. And I really wish it would have. It just kind of gives it another way to carry the bag. Um, also, you do have the luggage sleeve back here on this one, same as this one but you have more pockets in this one as well. So you have two pockets here um, on the front of the bag, and then you also have two more big, huge zipper pockets um, on the top of the bag as well. And this one, this bag just doesn't have any of those. Um, so there's definitely kind of more to offer <laughs> with this MZ Wallace tote, but they are just um, so, so similar. I think if I were to add anything from this tote that this one doesn't have would be the um, the straps here, how they're flat. I really like that about this one. So there you go. Take it with a, a grain of salt, but these two are um, are pretty good, pretty good matches. <laughs> All right, I think that does it for today's video. For those of you that were interested in this quilted tote from Lululemon, um, I sure hope it was helpful. I will have the link to this bag and everything else that I mentioned today down in the description box should you want to shop any of it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.